Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Rodrigo here from Unleash Your Fitness. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm a personal trainer and I make videos to help people lose weight, gain muscle, and just live an overall healthy lifestyle, right? On this video, as the title say, says, I am going to be training legs. I'm going to take you through one of my leg workouts and just explain, you know, why I work out the way that I do and what is it for and how it can benefit, benefit you and kind of give you some ideas if you are, you know, just trying to get a good workout in, right? So something that I didn't used to do a lot that now I'm, that, that I should have done, and if you are new to training, that you should probably start doing and you should do it, right? Is stretching. So stretching is, is definitely very, very important, especially when it comes to trying to stay injury free. Me personally, um, I, I'm, I'm 24, 24 years old, but I am broken down, all right? So, you know, I got a bad shoulder, got a, I got a terrible hip, and I also got some bad knees, all right? So that kind of came from not just working out, right, without stretching, but just the over, like my every, everyday things that I used to do, right? My, the old jobs that I had, um, I did a lot of, of, of labor work, and it was fun while I was there, but obviously being somebody who kind of just went into that field to do different stuff, you know, I was, I, was, I was doing everything however I could, so, you know, it wasn't always the best way to do it, but I still got the job done, right? Also sports, I like, I love playing basketball. Um, I used to, I used to be pretty good at it. Right now, not so much, but at least I think I used to be pretty good at it. Um, but I just recently started playing again, and I noticed that, yeah, I got, got some bad knees, some bad hip, so definitely trying to improve my mobility. My mobility is the biggest thing that I'm trying to improve. And that's one of the things that can, that is gonna benefit you a lot on your workout, especially on leg days, is that mobility. If you work on that mobility, if you start stretching, if you start trying to, you know, uh, like, like let's say reach for your toes, uh, just increase your overall mob mobility and range, and range of motion, your workouts, especially your leg work, workouts are going to get so much better. Now there is one thing to keep in mind though when stretching. You don't always have to stretch every single body part before you work out, right? When I say stretching, I'm talking about like it can be before you go to sleep, it can be before you wake up. It doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily have to be right before a workout. I actually would, would encourage you to stretch anytime before a workout, right? Anytime uh, that that is not around your workout, whether that's an hour before you work out, whether that's in the morning when you're not going to work out, whether that's at night before you go to sleep when you're not going to go work out, right? Uh, only because sometimes stretching, especially if you are somebody like me that likes to lift weights, what, what stretching is going to do, it's going to kind of relax your muscles, but it's going to relax them too much. And you don't want to relax your muscles too much, especially if you're going to if you're gonna go lift some weights. So let's say, for example, me stretching right now. I'm not really doing much of, of, of stretch. That's, right now, I'm not really doing much of a stretching. I'm only trying to get loosened up a little bit. That's all I'm really trying to do. I'm not trying to fully relax my hamstrings or my, you know, or my calves. Why? Because I'm about to go use them. If I relax them too much, I can, I can still get injured. Why? Because my muscles are, are so relaxed right now that whenever I do go lift some weights, right, or I do some, let's just say, uh, RDLs, right, working on the hamstrings. If my hamstrings are super relaxed because of me stretching and I go and try to lift some heavy weight, they're gonna, you know, they're, they're gonna get injured. So there's, that's one thing to keep in mind. You don't always have to stretch before a workout but you do have to warm up. There's a big big difference between stretching and warming up. So stretching is more like holding it for any a good 10 seconds up to 30 seconds, even a whole minute if you want. That's gonna fully relax. The, the longer you hold it, the more relaxed your muscles are gonna be. So during the warm up, like for example me, um, right now I'm just getting nice and loose. My warm up is actually gonna be at the gym doing some kind of movements. For example, I'm a my first exercise today for my uh, leg workout 
it's gonna be body weight squats. So I'm not touching any weight. All I'm doing is I'm squatting um, for a whole minute, four rounds of a whole minute, and it's gonna be my warm up. That's gonna get the blood flowing. That's gonna get my joints moving, moving. That's gonna get my bones, same thing. Yeah, moving, and that's gonna help me get nice, take control over my body, basically, right? So big difference there. All right, guys. So like I said, my first exercise is gonna be body weight squats, four sets of a minute. All I'm doing is basically warming up my my legs, my quads, my hamstrings, my my uh, calves, just activating my muscles, and basically just getting my my joints moving, moving right. Because the last thing you want to do is hop into an, a, a workout and start doing it, doing an exercise that you know requires weight. And you're not warmed up. Your your body your body isn't ready. Your joints are ready. And you, for one, your workout is gonna suck. Second, you are definitely asking for for uh, injury. So first exercise, four sets of a minute on the body weight squats. to the leg extension machine right so we want to, going to be focusing more on the quads on this one you you always you always want to make sure you get the the machine ready right uh the bottom part shouldn't be shouldn't be completely on your shin right it should be just just above your ankle right just above your ankle not on your shin so below the ch below the shin but not on the ankle so like between your shin and your ankle basically uh, make sure you get that right. And my first set is actually going to be a nice warm-up set. So I'm doing four sets of four sets of twelve, but it, it actually is five sets of you know twelve. But the first one is just a nice warm-up. The other four are the actual working sets. So that's also that's also one thing to, one thing to keep in mind, right? First, try the exercise. Make sure you you got the form down. Make sure you're really feeling it, and then from there count your sets. All right. Next up, we're going to calf raises. So with the calf raises, since I'm not at the at the actual gym, I'm actually at my apartment gym, right? Where I do, where I run my per, where I run my personal training. Uh, I'm gonna grab. A, I like grabbing a plate, right? It can be a 35, 45, as long as it's big enough, and uh, put it near a wall or whatever there is where I can hold on to. I'm a uh, lean forward, holding that wall or whatever there, whatever is in front of me for me to hold. And I'm gonna knock out some calf raises. So I'm doing this for a whole minute, right? Four sets of a minute. And I'm gonna try to switch it out. So I'm doing toes forward, then I'm gonna do toes in, then I'm gonna do toes out, right? Do the toes out since it's, you know, um, obviously I'm gonna be adjusting my, my foot placement every single time. And on that last round, I'm going back to the toes forward. This is really gonna target your calves. So if you're lacking on calves like me, this is definitely a good one. You're definitely gonna feel it. Since I actually have like knee issues, um, I don't know if you can if you can hear it. Let me see if you can hear it. Hold on, my knee actually pops every single time. So watch this. So I, I think you can hear it, right? I have pretty bad knees, so especially on that left one. Every time I do hamstring curls, or every time I used to do them, uh, it felt like there was like air inside that just wanted to pop, and it just made it, it, it made it so uncomfortable that I, you know, I I have had to stop doing hamstring curls, unfortunately, unfortunately. So I do do other variations to work my hamstrings. Since today I am at the gym, I'm actually gonna do deadlifts. So I will do Romanian deadlifts, but uh, I I, I kind of want to do deadlifts today. So. Uh, that's gonna target a little bit. It's gonna target more of my upper back. Well, more of my back and hamstrings and glutes. Not not so much focus just on the hamstrings, but um, it's my hamstrings are still gonna get a work in. So deadlifts, four sets of ten.
last thing I got, this is probably one of the most hated ones from my clients. It is squat pulses. So I'm basically just gonna hold on to something. I'm gonna squat down, get him to position, and I'm just gonna be pulsing for 15 reps. 15, to, well, actually, I'm gonna try to aim for 25. So four sets of 25 or mats, right? Because by this time, my, my legs are probably, you know, almost burned out. So four, set, four sets of 25 or four sets into like completely burned out. Wanna save this workout? You know, I'm gonna put the whole workout down below on the uh, comment section under this under description. I'm sorry, I'll put the whole workout under the description if you want to do it. Like I said, this my my legs. If I'm being honest with you guys, my leg workouts kind of suck only because, like I said, I have a bad knee, bad hip, and I honestly don't want to you know hurt it anymore. I actually want to make my legs stronger, make it to where uh, they don't hurt, basically. So, if you are someone who, who suffers, if you are someone who suffers from, let's say, back pain, knee pain, anything, anything like that, my best advice for you is to keep working out, right? But making sure that you are doing everything correctly, proper form, making sure you are stretching, make sure you are getting a, a good recovery, right? Um, but at the same time, look look out for the exercises that make you feel uncomfortable. Look out for the exercises that make you hurt. For example, me, uh, I, I love doing lunges, but if you notice, I didn't do any lunges this time. Why? Because I noticed they were affecting my hip. Every time I did lunges, they were affecting my hips. So what did I do? Instead of doing walking lunges, I switched them out for uh, body weight squats. Um, just to test it out, see how it feels. If it feels if it feels good, I'm gonna keep the squats until I until I can do the lunges again. Same thing with my knee. I feel like my knee was was being forced too much whenever I did the hamstring curls. So I'm I switch them out for RDLs or deadlifts or there's a machine that they have at um at my gym at my local gym, and uh I forgot what it was called um. But you basically you're standing up and bending over and then coming up and you get a nice hamstring uh i want to say they're called hyper extensions so i think they're i think they're called hyper extensions um it's just an exercise that that i never used to do but i started doing right because i couldn't do the hamstring curls anymore so my advice is for you is to keep working out, but look out for those exercises that make you feel uncomfortable. Look out for those exercises that make you feel in pain and then try to find an, an alternative to it, right? Because at the end of the day, you're still gonna be working the same muscles, right? You, There's plenty of exercises out there that you can do to work the same muscles. You don't always have to do, to do, uh, you don't always have to do the same exercises. You can switch them out every single time. I would actually advise you to kind of, you know, try new exercises because you might find some that target the same muscles, but you like better, you, you enjoy doing them better than your the regular ones, right? Uh, that everybody knows. So just keep that in mind, keep, stay in the lookout, and like I said, stretch, right? And make sure you're getting enough recovery. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, comment, uh, tag your friends in it share with your friends and subscribe to my channel on this your fitness i will see you guys on the next video